A significant shift has taken place in the habits of the consumers in Harare, Zimbabwe. This emergence takes place as locals turn to the vibrant second-hand clothing market, which leaves behind the homegrown fashion brands. A self-employed entrepreneur, Kimberly Dubé epitomizes this trend. Dubé is known for her sharp, fashionable appearance, as she revealed that her fashionable jeans and designer sneakers did not come from high-end stores, instead, from second-hand vendors. You can't find jeans for $2 in this country, she laughs, emphasizing the affordability and uniqueness of pre-love clothing. Gamucharain Pofu and Dubé believe that individuality comes from buying used clothes. A senior in the business, Winnie Mutsukoti owns tents filled with denims and other apparels which include some of which are never worn. Pays on delivery, she sources her stock from Zambia, which helps her mitigate financial risks which are associated with potential arrests. The second-hand clothing market thrives on the backbone of a struggling economy in the working-class neighborhood of Mbare. Roadside vendors, like Prosper Maidna, are known to sell items, priced at a range of $3 to $10, capitalizing on the high demand for affordable apparel. He shares his experience that the venture helps in providing for his family and earn higher than other employment. In contrast, many Zimbabweans face high unemployment and inflation, with jobs increasingly scarce. The local retailers' manufacturers are the sole reason for the success of the second-hand clothing market. The CEO of Throughworth Zimbabwe, Becca Themba and Debeli highlights the struggles attached to second-hand clothes that are illegally imported. The clothes cost less than their raw materials. The increase in these imports have led to many job losses and shutdown of many stores in the local manufacturing sector. The sector was once thriving on this, but at present employs a small percentage of their former employees. The import of second-hand clothing was banned in 2015 and despite that the decision was reversed by the government, due to the pressure from the traders. There are a number of sellers that operate without necessary duties, which undercuts legal businesses and exacerbates the challenges faced by local manufacturers, which leads to a thriving emergence of the black market. The consumers are unbothered by the impact on the local industry as they prioritize affordability and variety. They wish to buy local, if prices and quality align with their needs. For many, the second-hand market provides a practical solution to economic hardships, allowing them to dress stylishly without breaking the bank. The clothing sector can be revived by enforcing import bans similar to those in Rwanda and Uganda, the experts believe. Joyce Chimini, a clothing designer, believes that reforming government policy and improving the domestic manufacturing landscape could lead to a resurgence in local apparel consumption. The market for used clothing continues to be a key lifeline for many people in Zimbabwe, as the country struggles economically, providing not only with fashion but also with a glimmer of optimism in the face of hardship. The readiness of the government to assist the beleaguered industry and boost confidence in the home economy will determine the fate of local manufacturing.